that did join in on the plan to cull their population. I believe that the AIDS virus came out of a laboratory rather than out of the jungles of Africa. You have to understand several important concepts which I will address in the next few minutes. Hello, this is Robert Morris for Save Humanity. Welcome to the designer disease series that I have written to dispel some of the myths and raise awareness of an agenda which is designed to incite fear, spread misinformation, in order to confuse and conceal motives behind a much larger and darker agenda. Go off and use genetic engineering to create a better virus. <laughs> we will cover the history behind the AIDS virus, SARS, H1N1 and influenza, the first Ebola outbreak in Zaire, the current Ebola situation, and the pharma companies themselves. We will rationally examine the discovery, the laboratory engineering and subsequent patenting, the mainstream media spin and public perception, and the deployment of these diseases into a general population. Much of the information in this series comes from whistleblowers, expert medical practitioners, and scientists who have put their lives and careers on the line to spread the truth. I have gathered up as much as I possibly can in order to put this very complex web of misinformation, public opinion, and insidious intent together. And of course, they want to reverse this so that the people are mer merely tools of the state. The general public always has and still is being lied to. You are being used for profit, experimentation, and in some cases incubation of the very diseases that the medical community and the pharma companies claim they are treating or trying to eradicate. Even I don't know what their end game is. But if you are aware of what they are doing to all of us, then we can try and turn the tables back on them.